that there is worth about a million pounds. So a couple of months ago, I bought this building here and I got planned to turn this into four one bedroom flats. This wall would come off and the wall would get extended to like about here and then you would have four flats internally. I met my structural engineer who gave me this amazing plan to make, well, a ridiculous amount of money, but it wasn't exactly like the simplest strategy ever. But here's the problem, I bought this house and it comes with an absolutely like massive garden, but it's landlocked on like every side. So there's a house on this side, there's a house on this side, and then there's like a bunch of flats on the back. So it's completely landlocked. Now the previous owner actually tried to get planning permission to build something in the garden. Now the problem is if you have a house and you have a big garden, you can't really build something in the garden because then how does someone actually access it and you have parking issues, those sort of things. So now this is a plan which was recommended by my structural engineer. So this is a property I bought here, number 18. Okay, and unfortunately you can't really build anything down here. But if you look two doors down, right? So not this semi detached property, but this one here, this person has access on the side. He already has access from the main road. Here through the side is the access to that garden. So what my structural engineer proposed was if we combine all of these three gardens, this garden, that garden, and my garden right at the back. We could easily build something along the lines of this, which I think is currently five flats or maybe six flats. I can't remember exactly how many flats. So this is that flats building. And, and by building something like this, that would easily be worth maybe 1.25 million, 1.3 million around that sort of mark. And, and given that we already own the land, all three of us, and it wouldn't cost that much to build, that would make a ridiculous amount of money. So I went and spoke to these people here, my neighbor's neighbor about if we can work together and maybe do something. So I actually ended up speaking to one of the, the owner's son. And so his father had bought this property about 40 years ago. Before his father passed away, he has specifically said, don't sell the house and don't do anything to the house. So after speaking to him for about five, 10 minutes, it was pretty obvious that there was there, he was never gonna accept purely because there was a lot of emotional attachment to this house. So that plan kind of uh, just fell apart there and then. That old plan failed completely, but it did change my perspective in terms of what other opportunities I should potentially be looking at. If you look at this three bedroom house right in the end and where that black bin thing is, this person applied for planning permission to turn that area where the bin is into a one bedroom house. A few years ago now, he actually did get planning permission to build this one bedroom property. There's a three bedroom house and where that bin was, now there's a one bedroom house. So it's gone from this to this. That's probably made him a hundred thousand pounds because obviously the land is free. He already owns the land. All he has to do is build a house and then he can make a ton of money just by building it out. 